in Jesus' name. It's now time for the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. The music that you hear in the background is none other than Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, where I am now. And if you'd like to see us live in WGPL 1350 Studio, WMVA, 88.9 Studio. All you have to do is go to Edward Everett's Facebook page on Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton's Facebook page, and guess what? You can see us live right here in the studio. And if you want to hear us all over the globe, all you have to do is go to 1350 AM, 1400 AM, click on Church Webcast, and guess what? You can hear us all over the world. And now I want to introduce to some and present to others the host of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton, and a pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. E. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you, could you, will you be my neighbor? Let's welcome our neighbors, our WGPL 1350. Hey, I'm listening. Peace, 95.3 FM, WPCE, 1400 AM, WMVA, 88.9 FM. Good morning. Facebook Live is on and popping. Let's also welcome Twitter. LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll shout you out later on in the show. Twitter, YouTube, Hi. Instagram, Facebook Live, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And they get a shout out. We promise we'll shout you out. Yeah. Mr. E is Fun Friday. That's right. It's, it's Fun weekend. Friday. It's the weekend. It's a long weekend because you know Monday is a holiday. It is. I heard that today, you know, uh, it was in my memory bank and then uh, today I was reminded and I was like, that's right. Everybody that doesn't have to uh, go to work. Congratulations, President <laughs> Day. School, school is closed. I believe school yeah, is closed yeah, yeah. and everything. So that's marvelous. And you know, and not only that, the weatherman says here in the 757 that we will have some snow mixed with rain on Saturday. Possibly. But anyway, it may do that, but they promise as the days go on up until Thursday, uh, Thursday, possibly in the 60s, 62, mid 60s. So it says we're going to get a, a little warm trend going, and that's fine. That's good. So it's Fun Friday, Mr. E. It's uh, What's in Your Closet Issues con concerning me and you. Not, no, no, not you. No. All our no. ladies. But oh, I, it, it's going to be concerning you in a sense because guess what? Our segment today is going to talk about mother and son relationship. That's right. Mother and son relationship. That's where it's going to be part for the men because we got some. You got sons, but it's mother and son's relationship on a fun Friday. Absolutely. You know, what triggered this uh, segment for us, there are some things in social media concerning uh, one of the actresses, comedian, uh, comedian Monique and her son, uh, they have uh, a situation on these social media streets. That's right. They took it and put it in the streets. There are problems that they are facing should be behind closed doors with, so? with a mother and son instead of being in the social media uh, realm. Well, it says, uh, what is a mother-son relationship? Uh, it says the relationship between mother and son is really special. 
uh, when filled with love, kindness, and trust, it helps boys grow up emotionally and socially strong. A mother can guide her son on how he sees women, friendship, and himself. You know, it goes on to say, at the same time, how a son behaved with his mother can show a lot about what he is learning, you know, what he yes. is becoming. Yeah, uh -huh. But likely, all close bonds is not always simple. You know, mother-son relationship, it speaks in the Bible with uh, King Lemuel and his uh, uh, mom. She's in Proverbs telling him what to look for in a woman. That's right. That's right. And uh, what to, what to, uh, how to conduct himself as a man. That's right. Uh, we've had on this, uh, on our uh, FYI, can a woman raise a man? And, uh, you know, some people figured, no, a woman, well, there's plenty of women raising men, but women are not men. And so they relate differently, but they are very instrumental, according to our research uh, of a mother, and what she invests in her son uh, throughout his life. So let's let's talk personally, Miss Lee, if you don't mind about let's pause rewind. and rewind. Uh -huh, go ahead. Uh we there was a show that I performed in Can uh -huh. a Woman Raise a Man. Yes, That's right. Absolutely. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Yeah. But that is true. You did. And um uh I was an actor there. Yeah. Yeah. One of the main character. How, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all give Miss E his props, give him a clap. That's clap. right. Miss E, let's talk about yeah. uh, mother son relationship. It can be the best of the best of the best. I really believe that uh, because mothers invest uh, so much in the lives of their sons, I think sons have a respect and a love for mother that is just like, I mean, awesome. I know with my son, I just adore him. I know he ado adores his, his mother, he adores me. It's it's wonderful, but you know that relationship is. Uh, it comes sometimes uh, as simple as that, as beautiful as that, and uh, a man uh, really learns how to cherish uh, his mom and really respect his mother. For you, uh, I know. I think I've heard you mention your mom a few times and the love that you had for her. Tell us a little bit about your mom. Well, let's define what a mother and son relationship is all about. They say a mother and son relationship is a special bond between a mother and her male child. Uh -huh. From a son eldest earliest moments, the mother plays a key role in shaping his his, his growth both emotionally and physically. As the boy grows, this relationship involves influence by life experiences, milestones, and challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just saying, a mother's son, I, I'm gonna speak about my, my, my relationship with my son, uh, which is a, a beautiful, it's a beautiful relationship. Uh, he's my firstborn and I, just adored the fact that God, you know, gave, given me a son, you know, it was, it was a dream for me. I wanted a child. I wanted a uh, son and I made sure that I would nurture him as close to, you know, um, what God, you know, wants for us, for our sons and our daughters. And uh, I just put all the effort in it. I thought have, being a mother, first of all, was the most, how can I put it? I was so proud to be a mother. It was just uh, like a gift from God to me. And so I did take the time to nurture him and uh, uh, invest in him to be a well-rounded man. And that's what mothers does. You know, my mom was one of the greatest mothers in the whole wide world. You know, as three brothers, I was the middle child. Melva did a wonderful job of raising all, all three men. With the men boys was the first the men child but we was the first and the girls came after us but mama has such a special love and not uh in the at, at, for each one of the ch uh, each one of our children's each one of her children you know her boys and she know them by uh who they are you know a mother can recognize her son 
from a long ways. Nobody has to tell her that's her, her that's her boy. And not only that, a mother knows when you go to talking about her child, she knows what she instilled in that young man. Well, let's talk about uh, the the different uh, you know relationships. You, your brother, and uh, My brother. your two brothers. Yeah. How did she interact with them? What was different? What was the same or what was different uh, as she nurtured you more? You know, a lot of mothers would say that's no different in when they're nurturing, mm-hmm. you know, because she 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 they feel like they equally give them the equal love and tenderness and care. Mm-hmm. You know, but there is a difference. There is a a, a, a different way when a mother uh, raising other children, you know, and sometimes, uh, sometimes mama will put more into one and uh, less into another. You, you, know? So. you know, let's look at when we look at the, the uh, at a mother's love. Every child that a mother has has different ways. Mm-hmm. A mother has to make the adjustment to the different ways of each one of her boys. Mm-hmm. I you guess know? maybe based on age, based on uh, personality, you know, you may have one that's more difficult, one that's more, you know, like mom, you know, but uh, it, it, I think it all depends. I can think of my mother and dealing with her sons, you know, uh, it was uh, different because they were different. Uh, of course, she provided, uh, and my father died when uh, I was very young, but she provided everything for all of them. She, um, you know, she loved them and they loved her, they adored her, but they were different. And so she was different from them where one needed something emotionally. Maybe the other one was more independent yeah. or one was more, uh, you know, one more needy. And so it was according to how they are sometimes. Uh, and then there are some that are favorite. That's let's, right. let's say that. Because I had a brother who <laughs> my mother <laughs> loved him uh he wasn't more favored, but she loved him because he reminded uh, her of my father so much. So she really, you know, he was really, you know, <laughs> she really did. So but my, she loved all of them. So mothers has a different way of loving her children. You know, sometimes she, she's got different styles. But one thing about a mother is that she knows what's best for each one of her children. Mm -hmm. She knows how much they can stand and how much pressure they cannot stand. She knows a lot about because she raised them and nurtured them and loved them. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. know, when when we talk about uh, a a mother and her son relationship, there's five reasons, Ms. Sinton, that that a mother loves her, that she can, you know, love the difference in her son. Mm -hmm. Number two says she's a son. Shape a son perspective on relationship. Offer a safe haven for growth and exploration. Can you? Yeah, absolutely. She is really uh, invested into she, making she, who he, him who he is. That's right. She convol- uh, what you call that? She uh, uh, cultivated him, designed him, and and worked on him, and molded him, and shaped him to to be what she thought he's supposed to be, or you know, and the image that she wanted him to be, and put into him what she wanted him to have. All right. Well, it says, that, like you said, it shapes the son's perspective on relationships, how they see uh, women, how they see uh, you know marriage and things like that. She can also offer a safe haven for growth and exploration. You know, every child, in uh, respective of gender, requires a secure environment to explore their identity and interest. For many sons, their mother become that unwavering pillar of support. And we right. see that all the That's time. That's right. Uh, we see men that really, really value uh, their mom. Now, uh, we said that we were inspired by the uh, story that's out there with uh, the actress Monique and her son, which is right now very frail, and it has been for quite some time. But I do uh, uh, still, I still understand this about men, uh, sons, and mothers. Sometimes they can be uh, strained, and they can be sometimes that it's worse, but it's still something that she has done 
uh, uh, bringing him up, that he still has that love for her. That's right. Regardless of how he's she, he's been treated, he's and the still, mistakes that the, she makes. That's right. And he still has an ounce of uh, he has still have love for her. You know. You know. Sometimes you know when we look at how mother design and shape her son and mother is not uh, aware of uh, the mistakes that they make and how a young man sees how mm -hmm. you know what they have done but still respects that mama it says it all uh, she also imparts values and moral compass the mom and some relationship is crucial in the moral development of the child That's right. uh through daily interaction lessons and stories mothers pass down values ethics and a sense of right and wrong to their sons whether it's understanding the importance of honesty the value of hard work or the necessity of kindness these moral lessons stem from the bond they share with their mother as sons grow and face ethical dilemmas in their lives the teachings from their mothers often act as a guiding light. That's right. It, it, the value that moms put in you, you know, can guide you all the way till, you know, uh, uh, to the end of your life, you know, you know, you know, and that, that, that's what a mama does. That mama love is tough love. And sometimes mama don't realize that they have made them sons rotten. Well, they have, well, of course. They have made them sons right. And then if mama ever did anything wrong or stopped loving them in a certain way, then they feel that resentment. Well, they we're going to talk about toxic uh, mother-son relationship. But I wanted to, uh, you know, say that, you know, a mother, she births this son and she, you know, she really, really uh, takes the time to teach him. You know, uh, Mr. E, we talk about this a lot during uh, our uh, holidays and Valentine's Days and Mother's Day, that how the love for a mother, uh, and let's, we'll say with her son, how you see it. Mother is is, is uh, going to be wind and down. That's right, it, that's it, right. Uh, mother's going to be taken out. Uh, she, the, the restaurants, the people are going to be wrapped around the restaurant. You know, the stores are going to sell out. Why? Because the value of a mother right. is off of the chain. That's it is right. definitely that... something that is uh, something so worthwhile. And so she's instrumental, again, in strengthening and imparting values uh, values and moral uh, in her son. Uh, she strengthens resilience and coping mechanisms. That's right. She helps him to be a man. She That's helps right. him to... Uh, be strong in this world. It says life is uh, replete with challenges and having a strong support system is vital to overcome them. In the mom and son relationship, mothers often play a pivotal role in teaching their sons how to face hardships. That's right. Mothers are on top of everything. You know, when you look at a mother, I, I think about my grandmother sometimes, you know, grandmother had these uh, big old gowns on the house coats and mm -hmm. in lies those house coat pockets is uh, uh, money wrapped in a handkerchief, <laughs> pins, buttons, you name it. And that's what a mother, is, uh, that's how a mother is. She, in her has, she has so much of this, that, that in her, and, 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 and she knows how to put it in the right place when she's dealing with the levels of her son, uh, levels of her son. Yeah, I mean, she's uh, instrumental in, in the nurturing uh, of that child in infancy, that attachment years from zero to two, uh, the toddler stage and exploration two to four years old. When he gets in school, oh, I get it. That's a whole different, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. You know, from five to 12, you know, she's right there. Uh, then uh, adulthood. Uh, adulthood and friendship for 20 years and beyond. That's right. She is there. That's the thing. She has to be there uh, and she has to, you know, uh, teach him uh, to, to develop into each stage. You know, um, and I'm not saying men are not in their son's life. We can say this uh, same thing for men, you know, when we talk about father-son relationship. 
But yet, uh, most time, a mother is one that is very key in the lives of the children because she's the nurturer. She's the one that carries the children. She's the one that sees the first one they see is her, yeah, yeah. you know, at the birth. And uh, it is just a very strong, strong bond. That's right. And not only that, they knows her voice. And because mama take them everywhere. When they're a young yeah. lads, when they're in mama's, in the holding pattern, you know, uh, mom talks to them and daddy, and, and, and as strange as it may seem, a man has to introduce himself to his child when the child is born. You know, and then there's an old slogan, a slogan on the street, any man can be a daddy, but can't know any woman be a mother. Mm -hmm. I, I never heard that. One. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Mr. E, uh, again, yeah, that mother-son relationship, how important it is. Uh, she helps develop his communication skills, confidence, and self-esteem. Positive. Uh, she's a positive role model, and uh, she develops a healthy relationship. Guys, men, sons love their mother. That's but right. But there are problems sometimes into the relationship, and that's where you get a toxic type of mother and son relationship and we go back to talking about uh what's in the social media uh streets with monique the actress where her son had to come out and say something as a result of an interview that she did on social media where she points out that she has a strain a relationship with him always have and it was due to the fact that she did not have time. That's All right. this stuff we're That's talking right. about, what a mother does and how she invested time. She said she didn't have time for that. She was chasing her dream. That's right. She was chasing her dream and she was didn't have time to st settle down and raise that boy all the way until it was time for him to fly out the cuckoo's nest. You know, a mother and son relationship identify an address in the sign when it's toxic. Mm -hmm. You know, a toxic mother and son relationship. A toxic mother and son relationship can be serious and last lo a long lasting effect on the mental health and the well-being of those involved. Then it goes wrong, it can go wrong. That's right. A toxic relationship occur when a mother exhibit uh, manipulations, overprotective, abuse, controlling behavior towards her son. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. These actions often stem from the mother own insecurity, past traumas, are unresolved emotional issues, leading her to engage in dangerous patterns that harm her child's sense of anatomy, self-worth, and future connection with others. And that's the thing. A mother is going to bring her imperfection. Even though she loves her children, even though she loves her son, she's going to bring her to the table. And if it's uh, full of imperfection and toxicity, if it's full of uh, manipulation and abuse yeah. and things like that, this is what she's going to pass down to that son. That's right. And then, you know, you got some toxic relationship where mama can't do what she wants to do and the boy acting out of character and daddy is no longer around in the picture. The first thing a mama said, you act just like your daddy. Mm. You, you, you act just like, and you know, the thing about it is, and, and the sons know that daddy wasn't there. So now daddy must have been a real, a real bad person in the life of mother for mother to continue to make this relationship between her and her son toxic. You know, we I was thinking as we were doing research for this and I was thinking about uh, when people talk about a mama's boy and how uh, it can really, uh, really go, go bad in the sense of uh, taking too much time uh, to, to uh, away from that son, making him you know, codependent. He can't make decisions on uh, relationships. He he can't. She's always there. This they have a uh, show on reality uh, TV. This is called Smothered. Yeah, and it's where a mother refuses to get out of the life of the son so he can be a man. She refuses to stay out of his relationship. She refuses to not you know, make decisions for him. She refuses to stop wiping his mouth. You know he's. 25 and she's still right there. That's right. That's the right. Tissue. She refuses. And so she really sometimes uh, she can do a disservice with such control controlling ways. 
and a way where she can't let go for some reason. You know, Miss Hinton, when you talk like, when you said something about that, you know, folks has to understand the dynamics of a toxic mother and son relationship is critical mm-hmm. for recognizing the sign and patterns of unhealthy interaction. Mm-hmm. By identifying the main feature of this relationship, one can better establish boundaries to protect their mental health, seek professional help when needed, and ultimately work towards recovering and healing their own life and further relationship. When a mother and son falls out, a mother loves, and one thing you got to remember, a mother, a man child loves his mother. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And he's not going to let anybody, nobody come up against his mama to hurt her. You know, regardless if they're out uh, having a toxic relationship or not, a mother, a mother cares, a, a son cares for his mother. Absolutely. So uh, we're talking about the toxic relationship between Molly and her son, Shalom. Um, they took it to social media, to, took it to the social media sh- streets, uh, Monique did, yeah. and it really triggered something with her son. Her son had not spoken out at all about the relationship in all these years, but he kept hearing his name and everything uh, come up. Uh, and it caused him to address the issue with the whole wide world. Uh, what happened is that he had to say something to his mother and let her know, don't give a, a false reading to the public as though we are working on our relationship. Our relationship has always been strained. She had, she did not uh, raise him in this, at all, actually. She uh, took her career, put her career in front of her child. These are words that she said, and yeah. it caused such a an emotional deficiency in this son. But he finally said something after 37 years because she was on a platform of millions and millions of people. And he says, mother, don't do that. This ain't going to be good for us because now I've got to tell my side That's of right. it. You have never been there. You have not been a mother uh, don't play that role. We're not reconciling at all. So she and her uh, husband now made a another post of telling that he was now, you know, he's mental ill. He's this, that, and the other. What happened to the relationship, Mr. E? It, he came out. Yeah. He came out and he says, "Mother, this is it. You brought your receipts and and, and text messages and things." This is mine. Here's my son. I'm going to let you see my my child. But this is the last time you see him. He cut the relation off. Cut the ties with her. At, because he said it was a toxic relationship. That's He's, right. But guess what he said? I still love my mother. I admire how she started from Baltimore and went to the moon in her career. But this relationship is not repairable. And you know, when that happens, Miss Henson, that that causes a, a whole That's family insane. breakthrough, you know. Break uh, and yeah, then, you know, some of the some of the things that can cause a toxic relationship is when a mother put another man in front of her children. That yeah. it's one of the bitterest things that one could ever do, have another yes. person over her children. Mm-hmm. You Wherein know. there's neglect. Right, 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 and it causes it to, the when relationship to be toxic. You ask, the, they ask the question, "Why you treat me like this?" Is the way you know they they, they have to you know they have to what they call get back because you have treated me in this fashion. The sad thing about it, it is not mendable. It is just something that is just uh, it's over and done with, uh, according to her son. Uh, it's it, it's not. Are repairable. That's that's the sad part about it. Uh, you know, all that's being said in this in social media world, and still uh, the ending is this is it. We have no relationship. As you being a mother, how do you see? What do you think about this relationship between her son? That what, is what, sad. What, what, as from a mother's viewpoint, what do you think 
this relation what about this relationship between her son? I think it's sad, but she said it. I did not want to be a mother. She said I did not want to care for him. I did not want I wanted to be a star. And so she says now I'm paying the price. That's bad. Though. That is a bad when thing. When you make a statement like that and you bring these children into the world and then you say, I did not, I did not, and I did not. All I'm most concerned about is doing me. I'm hoping that, you know, we all will look and see what things we need to do in order to make our relationships better with our son, with our children. There are remedies. There's counseling. There's so many things. You know, it doesn't have to come to that giving up on uh, your relationship, but it is what it is. We're hoping that we all will do better. So look, God bless you all. Come over here for a few minutes. We have a few upcoming shows to announce. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to FYI Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Ever, the co-host. If you'd like to be a special guest or sponsor of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, or intern, all you have to do is give us a call at 757-714-7861, or you can inbox us at Ed with Every Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton Facebook page, and FYI Facebook page, or you can email Email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Don't forget to join us on all social media platforms and on WGPL, WMVA, WPCE, and Peace 95.3 FM. And don't forget to have a wonderful weekend coming up on Monday is Sports Talks. Yeah, in the NBA. Look at the talk about that basketball. Ah, I want to say good morning to Sheila Robbins, Lawrence Holloway, and it's hilarious, my wonderful son, Chris Hinton. We have some folk on uh, Instagram. We have James Nicholson, 708. They love underscore pretty face. Uh, is that my baby, Leisha, up here? <laughs> hey, girl. And uh, you all make sure you say something in the chat. But we're talking about mother-son relationship, which can be uh, one of the wonderful, uh, most beautiful relationships there is. A uh, mother and a son is, is sometimes is, is inseparable and sometimes it's just, it's just magic. But there are, uh, you know, issues and things and uh, things that happen in a relationship when it becomes toxic. And it's, but I'm going to tell you what the sad part about it, Mr. E. Uh -huh. When it becomes imperable, when you cannot repair. repair That's right. Uh, when it cannot be repaired. And this is what that young man said to his mother. This is it. This relationship cannot be repaired. It is over. To me, that's very sad because I have a son I love. I love our relationship. And to, 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 to know that... Um, you know, to see what a relationship can be and then see what somebody is giving up, it is to me, is the worst thing. You know, Miss sense, it, it happens all, it, it, it's happened all over the world that sometimes mamas and uh, they, 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 they don't, they get tired of, they see their son and, and then sometimes it, mothers can love overboard. Absolutely. You know, and, and you know, then sometimes I, 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 I look at young men today and how mothers are allowing their ch children to to ra they're raising their children up with them. It's a sad thing when you raise your child yeah. up and not having been able to tell your son or your daughter what to do. You know, yeah. because now they're figured that they're, they're accepting you as their friend, their buddy, and their pal. I would never ever in my life. Drink a beer, smoke a cigarette. <laughs> party with the truth. Drop. I would never do that with my pants hanging down, and I would never do that in front of my mama. You know, because one, a mother looks at you as they said, "Did I? Did, did, did I? Did, 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 did I raise you? Did I, did I raise you in that fashion? You know, I know I raised you to be neat and clean and do your thing, but wait a minute, somewhere down the line, you have lost the respect." And sometimes 
mothers lose the respect for their children because one, they so busy searching and trying to get their groove on. It's my thing. I, you know, I ain't got no, I like, like some mothers say, I ain't got no small children. But still, as you done, as the children done grown up, they still, you still want them to respect you. So guess what? It, you need to continue to respect your children. Absolutely. You know, uh, Monique is, is, is uh, she has a husband who, you know, doesn't see this young man as, you know, his, even though he was, was right. you know, instrumental in raising him. Uh, he doesn't see him as his. He doesn't acknowledge him as a son. Monique goes along with that. That's right. Uh, and uh, she, you know, she, I think she's just like, well, this is how it is. This is what it was. And I don't know if she can see the son's perspective of mom. You know, you really wasn't there for me. You, you didn't do, you know, it, it's not a secret. You didn't do what you were supposed to do as a mother. But this is the thing. Where does that leave that child? He has mental um, health issues. Uh, he's trying now to be a, a good father. Uh, he has his father. Yeah. He has a father. Yeah. But I'm saying I think it has done uh, damage uh, uh, that really, you know, it, to me, it makes the situation very sad. I can see, you know, I think I could probably have more empathy if, if, if uh, Monique would say, well, I think I, you know, I try to do the best I can. But Monique is saying, look, I want that. I want a mother. I didn't do. I think for that reason, she should have more compassion on her son and not uh, allow uh, the social media to dog him or allow, you know, her, her significant other to, you know, play a role in making him look some kind of way. I really think because she knows and acknowledged that she's done wrong by the son, I think she could at this time lift him up a little more, a little more, a little more. You know, Miss Hinton, when we begin to look at, when I begin to look at Monique, and I'm saying this from Ed Everett's perspective, she had three other boys. Mm -hmm. You know, she had her three other boys plus him. You know, and she's giving them three. I, I wonder in life struggle, is she treating all three of the young men like she treat her oldest son? If, if, if she's showing them other three any, any love, is she showing them other three, uh, 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 is she ki kicking them to the curb? You know, I was reading, Miss Miss Hinton, that it, it's important uh, when you're looking at a toxic relationship, the signs, which can include guilt. Do she mm. feel guilty? I'm not sure. Do she have any shame about how she is sounding off about this boy or uh, disrespect? You know, mm -hmm. these are what you call toxic relationship that, that she's showing. Do she have any emotion yeah. for the words that she is saying uh, about this boy? What have this young man done to her that caused her to really go to the left about him? Mm -hmm. You know, what has this boy done? She, he did not. And like oh, they used to say, he did not ask to get come in this world. You know, you had him. So you need to love that boy all the way until mm -hmm. the end. Like I said, the sad part about it is he has dropped the mic and said, that's it. It can't be a relationship. It never was. I think he accepts that. He loves her. He admires her. He said he will teach his child about his uh, about the grandmother. But I think he just, you know, sees it for what it is. He said he's fine. You know, there are some issues that he has, but he's going to work through it. And he's moving on with his life. In the meantime, uh, you know, Monique and her husband is there. Uh, with daddy. their side, uh, dad, her and daddy are there, and you know, you just don't know. It's nothing that you can do about the way she sees things and the way you know she's carrying on with this man. But you know, I think I hope uh, in, in her heart and in her mind and in her secret closet, she prays that you know she will be forgiven for what she intentionally did uh, in, in pulling back and not being a mother to this son. Which this is the thing. Did, Maybe she feels it didn't affect him, but this thing that can That's affect hurt. of that I can't imagine it's not affecting that he, child. Regardless, that regardless of who, if, if if she was not in his life, if she was seeking uh, her own career, 
regardless, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It hurts so bad. I remember a time when I when I was uh, when, when mother was out there having a, a good time. Mm -hmm. I got an attitude because my mom one time was at a party with us. And I, and, and I did not like that. Mm -hmm. I did not like to see my mm -hmm. mama dancing with one of my friends. Mm -hmm. I threw a temper tantrum right there in the midst of the party. And I said to my mom, I said, oh, I said to my boys, I said, you got to get out of here. Get out, get away, because you have no respect whatsoever for my mom. Ooh, we said they was party and party, and but you saying it was to you inappropriate. Inappropriate, you know, uh -huh. because here I am as a son seeing somebody else dialoguing and want to put the arm around my mom and you and know and, 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 and disrespect mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't appreciate that. I didn't like that. You yeah. know, and, and so you know it, it could be a, a unhealthy relationship between my mom and I if if she hadn't made the transition or the change. Mm -hmm. You know, because I believe I believe a mother should nurture and love her children all the way till the end. Well, she can have a good time, but you're saying, you know, you don't need to see men rolling up on her and twerking on her back and all that on mama's back and whatnot. Uh, you said, but uh, she is allowed to have a good time. She's allowed to have a good time. So listen, uh, we're going to talk more about that, these relationships, these interpersonal relationships. And hopefully if you have a strained relationship, because we're not making like uh, uh, relationships don't have drama or don't have problems and things like that. Or there's not, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, resentment and whatnot. But we're saying that if there is in your life and you want to make it better, there are things, ways and uh, uh, opportunities to have a better relationship with your son. That's there's right. forgiveness, That's you know, right. they're, you know, coming together and communicating and things like that, wherein you all can have uh, something special and something better and something wholesome. You know, Miss Hinton, when I was in that play, can a woman raise a man? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the outcome of it, they came back together. The oh, mama and the son, they came place. back together. together. Yeah. Anyway, in the meantime, we have a little bit of tea. Mr. E on yesterday, I mean, the social media has been blowing up with this uh did you know that Fonnie is not going to come back today to right, testify? That's right. That's right. Fonnie Willis, the DA for the Georgia case of uh, uh, y'all's uh, Trump, the RICO, uh, y'all's uh, former president, the RICO case between all those uh, defendants, uh, they've been in uh, court trying to say that she is not capable of doing this uh, trial, uh, being the prosecutor because of her and a uh, relationship she had with one of the other prosecutors. So do away with the trial, do away with her and all this. And it's getting so fire that, uh, you know, everybody's talking about it on social media. Fonny was on that stage, uh, on the grand stage uh, in court. And if she didn't throw, throw down, <laughs> she is nothing but a beast. <laughs> she is, I'm telling you. Don't play with her. I see why they don't want her, Mr. Yee, on That's this right. case. This That's right. woman is a beast. That's right. You know, Miss when I began to look at Fonnie on yesterday, a little bit yesterday, I, I saw her saying to them as if they, look, I'm not the one on trial. That's what she said. She said, I, it, it's not me on trial. It's y'all on trial. And, 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 and then she began to let them know, you lied, you lied, and you lied. Yes. You know, because... I don't think folks really know the measure of an independent woman, Ooh. you know, a, a yeah. woman who has been raised to be strong, strong by their daddy and their mama. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes daddy, uh, back in the days of old, they used to tell the children to take 20 cents, take 10 mm -hmm. cents, take 35 cents with you, just in case you had to make an emergency phone call. Mm -hmm. At least you have a little money in your pocket to do that. Now, she kept that with her for a long time because yes. back, in, back in the hood, back in the days of old, in the neighborhood, men used to say, you would have never made it if it wasn't for me. She would not. And she's talked about it on the stand. And uh, Mr. Uh, Wade as well. She's an independent woman, a strong woman, That's right. forceful woman. She came in there stomping on the earth. But she also says that, listen, 
I'm not the type of woman where and uh, you can just run over me. I've been raised a certain way. I have my own money and I take care of mine and myself. That's right. And so, you know, wherein they want to, you know, uh, push her aside just because she's had a relationship with someone, they are tr uh, they cannot prove yet that she has uh, capitalized or profited uh, through this uh, relationship that she has with Mr. Wade. You know, but I, but I have to say to Miss Fanny, Miss Fanny, when is handle your business, girl? Handle your own, girl. Handle your business and be strong. You got my support. You got me. <laughs> you got my support. So handle your business because I like the way she's carrying herself. I like it when yes. when when. when when you know what you know and know that you know and and know what what you was your potential was and how it was you wasn't seeking to 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 be in a relationship you know and what gets me so much i saw this on yesterday them them uh them coolers that's sitting in the background that's really trying to demoralize a yes. jealous folk i saw a, 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 i must say an african american sister sitting oh, in the in the background cooning cooning oh. maybe she wanted some tv uh advertisement but she was in that cooning say their relationship talking about mm. their relationship have several seats you have several seats and get out of folks business they were on the same track uh her and mr wade they said the same things they said they started it it was no secret it was just a private relationship that's right and so uh today it's going to continue she will not be on she already dropped the mic she don't need to come back and uh she's not on trial just like she says they are and so we're going to see how these things play out but also mr e the t uh to uh uh to uh see what comes down from the civil case uh, from uh, Donald Trump, that's coming down. The money that he's going to be uh, uh, owe the the state of of, of, of New York. We're going to see all that play out this weekend. They said, and uh, so we're going to uh, keep uh, serving that tea with you all, and just keep letting you all uh, uh, see uh, what's going on in these streets. That's honey. right. And Miss Fanny, Miss Fanny Willis, keep your head up, girl. Yeah. Keep your head, head up. up. Let's let's get this thing done. Let's get it working. We got this go. uh, uh, election, Mr. E. Let's get this thing done. You know, when they talk about elections and these things that they're trying to get across the board, like women's rights, like women yes. need permission. Now, Fanny, don't you know when, when you look at this, they gonna tell they gonna say that she's not in control of mm. her lifestyle, the way she wants to live. Listen, listen. Don't let nobody tell you how what your lifestyle is. If Absolutely. you if you the type of person that is strong in your race, be strong. Don't let Absolutely. nobody tell you you can't be strong, that you got to fall under subjection and be somebody totally different than you are. My Absolutely. hat's off to you, Fanny. Keep Absolutely. Up the so we'll be back here on Monday. Don't forget uh, to follow us on social media. Go to Crystal Records 1 on YouTube and uh, uh, follow us and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, the Royal Ladies Pie. Anytime you all want pie for any occasion, uh, any event, they're there. Uh, BulvicAcademy.com, B U L V I C. Go there and look at some of the information on the blog about bullying. Share them with your children. Their games, the game app is there. It's also on Google Play or the Apple uh, Store, B U L V I C, Bulvic. Go get the books. They're there. Easy to get. Just click on the links. Uh, they're Audible Spanish. Uh, uh, they are uh, all kind of things that you can get on that website. Also, uh, you can be a special guest, intern, or sponsor with FI Radio Show. Mr. E got the tea on that. If you'd like to be a special guest or sponsor, all you have to do is give us a call at 757-714-7861 or inbox us at Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda Lady Henson's Facebook page, or FYI Facebook page, or email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. That's all you have to do if you like to be a special audience. That's right. If you want to be an audience on FYI Radio Show, all you have to do is give us your email, and we'd be more than happy yes. to bring you in as an audience on the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world.
So we're going to see you on Monday for Sports Talk. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And be blessed. That's right. Two up, two down, VA. And don't forget, Monday is President's Day.